mask on me and made me Iron Mask. What are the odds? She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. My soul? Or my she brain? You might... So much revelation. Lose your memories and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. We need to take you to a casino because 10%, that's pretty incredible. But her goals and origin remain shrouded in secrecy. Uh, hmm. Oh, I thought there was going to be a fight. Okay, well, there's nothing here. Heavy treat. Uh-oh. So they're expecting something in this room then, huh? Chaos! Chaos! This place. Oh, it's where the channeling this ceremony took place. Memories. Of course. After three hundred years, this is where it was held. The spirit channel. This is where it all started. This is where the Renis Alma was. Golden Morgan, so mein this Freund. Is the place where you and Naori. The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. My well, good thing we knew to do that. <gasps> Naori, what is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. That day. Man, this I last half of the game has been nothing but goddamn talking. To lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> what we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. Are we ever gonna be told? A sovereign. That'd be pretty Baby nice. Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. All the controls are activated by channeling your energy power. into it. Obviously, Plus five head. I should have guessed. Its that day, as to shoot your energy into it. His power, I was meant to guide it forth and give shape to the strength inside of him. Well, that's good. I think we Led read that on the Lenigus terminal. Itself? But then, everything that's been happening. But that power showed me a vision. A vision of oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer... Did you... <laughs> she install a flashlight into your computer that turns on the switch just at the right moment? To seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, 
I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. Who I told you? How. Well, you see, whenever you left your room, I took a look at your computer. I'm like, damn. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Ulna seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. <laughs> We're gonna sit here for fucking ten lost. minutes listening to this bitch have and a monologue. Alpha, the sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the maiden to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted and for a new sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... What the fuck did any of that even mean? Well, you just hope to store all of the Thank void you. energy in the Renis Ulma to kind of keep now. it at bay every time. Was it okay. directly from Naori? Or That's was what it I gleaned voice from that. Speaking through her. Probably gonna have to do another playthrough and like pay more attention, but like, you know, I love when expository dialogue is just given to you in a 10 minute monologue. Oh man, good thing it changed our clothes for us. What? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to... Where'd your ponytail go? Did they cut that off? They focus and enhance them. And they appeared now because... Naori must have left them here for the new sovereign and maiden. Knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the thorns. Against Shadow. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Shion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Maybe. It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. But then you know someone However, else is going to have to do the it. spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril... It's selfish of me, I know, but... But still... No, it well isn't. then look happy why do you look sad all the time in. it'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it Rinwell's right 
We can rid you of your curse and still save the world. Hubert, at the same you're my time. brother. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well placed. <sighs> Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Shion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? I guess they do. I'm just perfect. You know it's me they're following. We're all in this together, Shion. You included. I'm over 100 times your well, age. Moving, I mean, we? no, not 100 times. <laughs> I heard we had an She'd have to be to fucking stop. like three years old. I'm over 10 times your age. <sighs> Thank you. Could never work Mayori. between us. <laughs> so Niori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. But then. That power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm Get back so to the sorry, farm, pig Sean. farmer. It's my fault. No, I'm cursed. cultured, don't you understand? That's why this outfit is what ironic. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse. The, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, I never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible. No, the truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. The touch of my family, or playing with my friends, holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack, embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for myself and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end and... That's not going to happen. I'm here to make sure it won't. Forget fate or destiny or anything else. We're going to live... <sighs> a normal life. Sorry, I didn't there mean to get so crazy with that. Want to do, right? Are you going to live? Oh, sorry, You're I didn't mean right. to scare you. It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead. And it's for my sake. So I can live. You're worth can we get back me. to that fighting? Because this shit is I hard to listen you, to. Alfin. Good. I'll keep on fighting. For as long as it takes. Until our future is finally in our hands. Dying over here. Latest maiden. Oh, look, we got another food one. Revitalize. Wow, that's hella late in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Well, we have to pick up that. Well, I mean, we're level 40 something. Like, from. You know, compared to the other games, that's about right when you would get revitalized, like a 45. So I guess. But by that point in those games, we were well aware what the fuck the plot was. And we were working towards changing it. Uh, Sodale Arthalis, a sword given to the chosen sovereign that draws out all of their latent power so as to carry out the spirit channeling ceremony. Gom Arthalis, ceremonial garb given to the Chosen Sovereign, granting them the endurance to withstand the immense power of the spirit channeling ceremony. When she casts it, she calls it Resurrection. Oh, that's funny. The Dreamer. Olaze Fiarquis, ceremonial garb given to the Chosen Maiden, capable of interfering with astral energy. It's worn to contain the Sovereign's power. Yeah, uh, they call Resurrection in this game Resuscitation, and they call 
resurrection revival because it i guess they're following the japanese translation of it that's probably why they still call it healing circle instead of hurtless circle which is funny sounds like this naori chick had quite the hatore sakuru her position demanded nothing less so hatore sakuru she didn't focus on differences least of all those hurtless not heartless yeah it was naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible and then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenegus for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. A truly caring person. That's as if walls meant nothing to her. The one separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She had no need for them. Haven't we been talking about this shit for like the whole entire game? The first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about It's that. like she wasn't racist because you racism is bad. Her wish for the, the other world. lords were racist, but not her. She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way, showing us what we can aspire to. Yeah, thanks. Really good input there. My goddamn fruit sandwich recipes on the timer here, and you guys are talking about the same shit you've been talking about this whole time. Yin to the sovereign's yang. Warp zone. The ultimate core. Uh, is this gonna be a boss fight? What is this? That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? Mm. After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. Oh, I should probably equip those weapons and armor, eh? So they put on Kisara's default outfit for this cutscene, but they didn't put on Dohalim's. Like they look, you know, he's okay for him to dress as a farmer. This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. Like I'm pretty sure I have Kisara's black outfit on. Oh, okay. Just open the door for me. Caduceus Rene. Oh, they already equipped it for me. How nice of them. Well, obviously, we need to have his weapon equipped. Oh, so we don't even have to worry about it. How nice of them. As a story element, you have to have that shit equipped. Well, shit. We're a long way from the residential quarters now. That's a bug it looks for sure. Completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place—it reminds me more of being back inside the wedge. Except it was like the she's the only one too. Like everybody else had the here. costumes I have on them. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renan Sovereign. Maybe he just has strange tastes. This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago. Or perhaps even further back. Still, this isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it then? Hold up, decadence? Artistic circles? When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? The void that art <laughs> fills isn't the stomach. It's All the right, soul. kid, you gotta laugh out of me. In that case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside Pretty your head. Pretty sure she had the purple Shut in mind, too, but no, I don't remember. Remember. 
remember? I, I I know that's what you're trying to say. I'm just yanking your chain, buddy. I don't remember. T I don't remember t either. There's a mysterious power. Touch it. This really it. After all this. And fighting all that shit is all post game Boy. junk. He really was still <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's the Renes Alma. Then is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Oh man, we played right into their hands. Doesn't seem right here. Oh, once more, the powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena at the shrine of the true sovereign. But what has happened to him? He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in the machine. Hey, look, over there. Isn't that the maiden's crest? Can it be that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? It looks like it's still running, but are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegas's transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know, but whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renes Alma, because right now, we need that most of all. He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. Alvin, look! <laughs> the Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? There's more Red Women! They all have the same face? How is that even possible? <laughs> They're all wearing the same flight attendant's outfit. 